Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, and I've just finished farming for all the debuff, getting all the debuff for this gem is only we're going to need. We don't need them for the first fight, I think, but I just figured it was worth picking them up. I'm going to switch Ricky in, because I like Ricky. And we're going to probably switch Melia's weapon, I'm sorry Melia, but... I need a three slot staff, so I'm guess I guess I'll go with the ether burst. I just need three slots because I need the night vision. We're going to equip all these night vision gems. It should be in a rank four. Rank 4, red gem, orange gem. There, found one of them. And then this, I think I'll move her agility up. Because we're gonna need other stuff. Topple resists are going away, don't worry. So basically in my characters, I'm gonna have to take off the AP ups on the three battle member battle party members. Unfortunately. Basically, I'm gonna have two spike defenses and two debuff resists on everyone. And I figure that should handle everything. So as you can see, I have some spike defenses. Some pretty good spike defense gems. Let's see. So everyone gets one. Oh, I need to take the. I might as well take Fiora's Diva for this off of her. Let's give you Spike Defense five. Maxes out your Spike Defense. We don't need the debuff this 5, let's head down to 4. There. So now Melia will be maxed, so now every character's basically the gems are going to be like this. Maxed out on night vision, agility up, spike defense, and debuff resist. So that we won't be doing, spikes won't do anything to us. And basically the only debuffs we can be inflicted with now I think are topple and daze. Debuff resist guards against everything else. Yeah, because their top of days aren't considered debuffs. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that on everyone. You already have your debuff resist equipped. Sorry, I'm going to have to remove those. No, where's your agility up? Yeah, re equip that. Sorry, Shulk. I hate doing this. Let's get you the other night vision 4 while we're over in this area. And then go back to the 5s. Give you one of them. Max that out. Gotta max everything out. No, I didn't award the debuff was just 5, so you can take that. And you need spike defense. Let's get you spike defense six first. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm doing this right now, but I figured we might as well do this for the easiest one. Though, I believe, though the hardest guy can spawn, spawns in the same place as the easiest one. But he only spawns during a blizzard, so basically you have to hope that a blizzard doesn't kick up while you're fighting him. Which I'm gonna be hoping. Get rid of your top resist. 
We don't need top amethyst, Ricky. Brave equipment is kind of outdated. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I'll leave it. I don't really care. I should care more, but whatever. That can go. Oh, you're gonna need new different boots and a different biter. <laughs> Might as well upgrade that. You need a better biter. I guess I can go with a non-defensive biter. It's higher auto attack. It's pretty stable. I guess I'll do that. Let's give you just in Julia 5. Max that out. Night vision. There's one. There's the other. Debuff resist. Six. There's a debuff resist. There's the other debuff resist. I'm sorry I'm taking all this out of the video, but gotta get prepared. Spike defense. And I know we have more spike defense. Probably rank four. No, the spike defense fours aren't good enough, so you're taking the spike defense five then. Which means now I have to go back to Melia and give her a spike defense four. There's probably a spike defense four that's good enough though. Yep, there we go. Everyone is, all three of these characters have maxed out stuff. So let's get going. I think we're very basically prepared. We want to go to Valak Mountain. Three of them are here, the weakest one and the strongest two. Three Sage Summit is where you can find Final Marcus, which is the one I'm going after now. Avalanche Abyssey can also spawn here, but I'm hoping not to fight him. Final Marcus only spawns at night, I believe. I am going to stand back a little bit because I don't want... I want to make sure I can pull out if... There's Final Marcus. Maybe I should take out the other ones in the area first. That could be a good idea, actually. I'm gonna do that first. Now you shall witness all power! Everyone! Of course, we have total immunity to spikes and debuffs, which will help. But yeah, I'm gonna clear out these guys. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh, it's not. Okay. Fortunately, we're basically guaranteed to hit this guy, and we have pretty high agility, so it shouldn't. He shouldn't be hitting us a lot. And Vizit has not much health. Yeah, I guess I'll take those. Actually, no. I have... What am I doing? Leave those behind. I don't really want to collect the chest right now, because it's a little scary. I think I can stay away from the other guy, so... Let's do this and hope a blizzard doesn't kick up. And this guy should be really easy. He has a range spike, like one that just automatically deals, you da deals damage over time, but we're all immune to his spikes. His, the spike damage you saw there was Ricky's spike aura, so don't worry about it. Ricky's the only one who's been taken down. They do have a shortened topple time, topple duration, which is something you might want to look out for. I don't have a party that's built for toppling. I mean, I have Melia and I guess Shulk and Daze, but that's it. 
Melia, draw the eye. Who's the eye girl? Thanks for. I do have Shulk and Wiki's healing arts equipped, of course. Healing is always good. I just didn't want to use Charla for this. And basically, I'm using Wiki for these because Wiki's honestly looking like my favorite character that isn't in the final party. Well, looks like it's going to be the final party, so that's why Ricky's here. Melia is my favorite party member, of course, and I figured I should have Shulk. This is going to be really hard to do without Shulk, so that's why Shulk's here. Because otherwise it would probably be really hard. Thanks, Ricky. Ricky's healing is so helpful. So yeah, the only gems I have are sort of... He's having immunity to debuffs is really nice. I don't have to worry about annoying things. Any of the debuffs. Yeah, this guy is going down pretty much without a fight. So yeah, Final Marcus is going to be easy. I'm probably going to have to end the video with Final Marcus. This guy doesn't even have a level 10 talent art. Quick, Shulk. Shulk. Get over here. Shield. That's all we need. This guy is really not difficult. As long as Avalanche Abyssey doesn't show up, because he can show up. He spawns here during a blizzard. But as long as he doesn't show up, then we're fine. I don't need that. But... That was Final Marcus. That was admittedly a lot easier than I thought it would be. He can drop some spike defense, but I don't need spike defense. And they dropped glory things. Crap. I should have saved. Eh, I'll take it. I need Veritas Glyphs, basically, for something else. So, I'm gonna farm some Veritas Glyphs from him, I think. Because he's not hard. Uh, just a couple. I'm not gonna, like, go crazy. So, I'll meet you back when I have the two Veritas Glyphs I need, and so, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Bottom several more times actually. Ricky's like level 98 now. We're like level 97, 98. It's a little ridiculous. But I got all the Veritas glyphs I need to show off this little thing. It's just a quick little thing I wanted to show off. And I figured we had to show we had to do this at some point after we fought the first Super Boss. And since this video ended up not being long enough, I figured might as well put it after this one. You know what? Might as well get this thing out of the way. Because it's the last thing we need to do. So yeah, you need... I need at least two Veritas Glyphs, so I just farmed for them off screen. Figured I'd save you the trouble. But we have to come over here and trade with Jarell at 5 stars infinity with colonies 6. You need both the trading bonus skills for this. And we have the Veritas Glyphs. They're the only thing valuable enough, and Veritas Glyphs are a rare drop from Final Marcus and any other super boss. But only the five su but only the five super bosses will drop them, so we get one. So let's check out the Collectopedia, because if you were aware, if you were looking, that one is the last part of the other Collectopedia. Finally. And we get a critical up 5. I'm gonna manage for that. Because it's good. Go away, Ether up 4. And an aggro down 5, which I guess I'll take. I'm not gonna use it. I'm keeping this for a while. I'm gonna change my gem setup, of course, once I get back to doing stuff with that. And that's the entire Collectopedia, I think. Did I not complete a part? Did I not complete a part, a page? I'm getting paranoid now. Okay, let's see. 
I never put one in in the Hyandia tomb. Oh my god. Well, there's your Hyandia tomb. I don't need that. No, I don't need those rewards. But there's your Hyandia tomb. I just never put that in. <laughs> wow. They're kind of outdated at this point. There, we get the achievement. I was expecting that achievement, and I was like panicking for a second. I just forgot to put it in for the high Antia tomb. That's fine. But we need one more. Because, and this is why I didn't bother farming for getting Ricky and Charla up to Max Divinity. We're going to give us a present from, let's say, Ricky to Charla. It gives you a full level of affinity, I believe. And we get an achievement. And I think that was a full level. I'm gonna really hope, because I'm pretty sure that was a full level. So I'm not totally sure. Yep. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't a full level. Okay. But that's worth like 100 affinity. So that's worth a lot more than most gifting. And since while we're here, I might as well do some other gifting. But that's worth a lot, and it's an achievement, so I needed to get that. What does Charlo like doing flowers? Ricky likes bugs. Oh, do I have any of these? Please tell me I do. Oh, the mantis. Charlotte to Ricky. I don't need, think I'll need these ever again for anything, so might as well. Let's go back to flowers. With something else that Charlo likes. Oh, those, yeah. That one fruit. Probably haven't picked one up recently. Oh no, we have a couple. No, we get an achievement. That's right. Okay. I'm sorry I'm gonna waste spend some time gifting here, but I want Ricky and Charla to get that max affinity. No, Charlotte's not the hugest fan of flowers, that's right. Ricky's a fan of bugs, though. Let's just give a few... Oh. I was giving them to Charlotte, but apparently Charlotte liked this. Likes this bug. I thought she hated bugs. Oh well. I guess rainbow bugs are an exception. Ricky is so hard to predict with gifting. I hate that. Like, I hate that he's hard to predict. I don't remember anything else that Ricky particularly likes or Charlotte particularly likes. I'm just gonna keep gifting things. Ooh, moth crawlers are good. I suppose. Still not there yet. Okay. We might as well view the final heart to heart in this video too. I know it's gonna get long, but so moth crawlers. Dragonflies are pretty good. Are we there yet? No. Come on. 
might not have time for heart to heart. I'll probably squeeze it in at some point later. Oops. Ricky! I mean, at least I don't care, really. Just need to keep gifting. Here, have one. Have another. Have more random things. Ooh. Let's give you one of these, too. Go with your cockroaches. Okay. Another really good one. Get these. Gift all of these. I might as well. I really want this last affinity link. Let's give him a shiny scarab, a black beetle, and a couple water boatmans as well. Oh, why not? Consume a giant hornet, and a couple white beetles. Are you serious? Ricky and Charlotte have still not bonded. I'm amazed now. Like, I'm kind of amazed that Ricky and Charlotte haven't bonded yet. What are the Charlotte like? Hard lotuses, I think, are good for Charlotte. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'll give them all. Might as well get those boosts. It's a two heart level boost. I don't know exactly how much this is, but it is a decent boost. More than any one heart boost. Maybe she likes starfin carrots? No. Okay, bad idea. I should stop experimenting with vegetables. feel like I have to experiment. I'm gonna have to experiment soon, but I don't want to. Why? Don't remember anything that either of them particularly likes. Oh, I guess we'll come back to it in the next video. I'll finish gifting between episodes probably. But See you next time when we prepare to take on the next Super Balls. See you then.